911, what's your emergency? Please help, please help. Someone jumped into my school. What school is it? Tudor, it's Tudor. Okay, okay is anybody is injured? Yes, yes, a lot of blood. Please help, please. <laughs> right after February 14th, a whole community of people were hurting. A whole community of people didn't know what to say, didn't know what to do, nor should they have. This is an unfathomable thing. We don't want your thoughts and prayers, okay? Stop sending those, that's enough. We are the people who instantly said, this can be prevented, this should have been prevented, and this has been prevented in other countries. My name is Jacqueline Corin, I'm 17. I'm Alex Wynn, I'm 17. I'm Emma Gonzalez, I'm 18 years old, I can vote. I'm David Hogg, I'm 17 years old. My name is Cameron Kasky, I'm 17, and I am a junior member of the Never Again MSD movement, which started in my living room. Today, we take to the streets in over 800 marches around the globe and demand common sense gun laws. Never again, never again, never again, never again. Today is the beginning of a bright new future for this country. And if you think today is good, just wait for tomorrow. President Trump is not going to be able to walk away from the March for Our Lives. Nobody is going to be able to walk away. Who are we? MSD! Who are Teenagers know this situation because we experienced this firsthand. The people in the White House don't know what it feels like to be trapped in a closet fearing for your life because you don't know whether the knocks you hear outside are police or a shooter. People are inspired by us because we're their age. We're just like them. We could be friends with them if we went to their schools and they're seeing us on TV and speaking up on social media. We are here to remind American citizens that their lawmakers work for them and that they can demand change. And when it comes to gun violence and gun laws, these politicians are going to have to understand that it's not about their personal views anymore. We voted you into office because you were going to keep our best interests at heart, and you did not. So this is the time to change that. Imagine a country that allows its children to be slaughtered and does nothing about it. That doesn't sound like America.